All right, guys, June 1st, <clears throat> 20 of 9 in the morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just got done uh, airing up all the tires, hooking Pepper up to the bumper or to the RV, and we are ready to go. And just want to show you what an empty house looks like. And that's it, and we're out of here. Packed up, everything in the RV. Not very organized at the moment, but it's packed up. So, like I said, I'm excited. I'm scared. We're moving on. A new adventure for Cheekster. Oh, yeah. Rupus and I are heading out, and hopefully it's going to be a wonderful life from here on in. See you in a little bit. Bye. Hey, Rufus. No golf cart this morning. It's gone. Yep. You ready? Hey, you ready to go? Yeah, today's a big day. Yep. You'll be able to see the desert someday and God knows what else. But we're ready to go. There's Pepper all hooked up. There's what's getting thrown in the dump. And there's the RV where she sat for the last three days. So, here we go. Putting the key in the ignition and we're out of here. And I really can't mess too much with the uh, videos today because I just uh, want to concentrate on driving and where I'm going. See you in a bit. Well, guys, we've been on the road about 20 minutes. Uh, Guz is running real well, no problems at all. Uh, I anticipate the trip to go well. I'm very happy with the way things are going right now. Rufus is a little nervous. He does a little squealing every once in a while, but he's back on the couch sleeping. I'm sorry I didn't get more videos of prepping and packing and all that, but I got to tell you, it was just, it was a hard day. Um, if, if anything, if I can give anybody a little heads up, make sure that you really, really do your homework on what you're bringing, how much you really have, uh, and give yourself plenty of time to make that move. Because as much as I prepared, I think that's where I lacked the most. So I wanted to share that with you. I wanted to let you know everything is going really well right now. And uh, we're on Route 60. Our next uh, route will be 75, which will take us north. And then obviously I-10 heading west to get to the hilltop. So I'm going to sign off now, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hi guys, well everything is running great again, I mean I can't complain, we've been on the road now over uh, an hour and everything is fine, Guz is running well, Rufus has calmed down, and I just gotta share something with you, I'm sitting here thinking, driving, very quiet, concentrating, and then this thought came into my head, because now you know, after moving to Florida from New York, upstate New York, I downsized. Now I just downsized again. And here's an interesting feeling. I don't know, uh, maybe I shouldn't be proud of it, but everything I own right now and care about is in this RV or behind me in the Jeep that's being towed. So this, all this metal moving down the road, it's got all this stuff in it. That's it. So if I continue to downsize even more, it's even going to get simpler. I have to tell you, it's like a load off the shoulders. It really is. It's like this weight. Like you don't have to worry about a storage area. You don't have to worry about uh, stuff you haven't used in so many years. And I still have stuff I haven't used in a couple of years. So guess what? We're going to downsize even more. But I wanted to share that with you because it's just a beautiful day today. June 1st, 2016, and I feel great today. I really do. So, I'll talk to you again soon. Don't go away. Okay, guys, this is where it's not too much fun when you're in the traffic, you know, 36 feet plus tone to toad. Yeah, keeps your attention, you know. But looks like in 2.2 miles I get off of here. But I just wanted to show you that, uh, yeah, driving sometimes, it's, it's not all that much fun when you're in this mess. All right, talk to you soon. Well, guys, 
guys, I'm up here uh, on I-75 around Dade City, and I can tell you the scenery has changed. I haven't seen a palm tree in quite some time, and we have actually some hills. Yeah, Gus is having a good time going up and down hills, burning up all that gas. But, um, yeah, different, very different. So, we're making progress, and onward we go. about 150 miles to go before I get to Alabama to the hilltop and uh, I just stopped so Rufus could do a little pee we've been on the road for about four or five hours without a stop so I think it's time for him to do his business so here we are the RV behind me Rufus sniffing as usual what did he find today it's not the dirt road roof
Nice little rest area. Wow, what a nice looking RV. I wonder who belongs to that. Oh, look at that nice little Jeep in the back. <laughs> I'm a happy camper today. A lot of work went into this. Year and a half later, here I am. Yep. So. All right, I'll shut this off before the batteries run out and uh, hopefully we'll video uh, when I arrive at uh, the hilltop. All right, guys, in a bit. Okay, we got 129 miles left before <clears throat> we reach our destination. Uh, it's been a great drive. Look at Rufus back there. I think he's back there having a good time. And uh, here's the view from the, the driver's seat. And you can see my GPS there. And we got the uh, backup camera with a picture of uh, monitoring Pepper back there. And Mr. Piggy, who keeps an eye on us. So, been fun. 129 miles and I get to rest and hopefully get to pop a beer tonight if I got one somewhere. So, I'll talk to you a little later. Just wanted to show you the progress. Only 41 miles to go and we're all done. What a day. Beautiful trip. So, really nice scenery up here. You take a look here. And we're, we're not too far from Pensacola. And this is really, really pretty out here. This looks like a marsh of some sort. Really, really nice. And as I say, it's been a great trip. Well, guys, I finally made it. I got checked in. Here I am. It's dark out. I haven't had time to do much of anything except uh, meet my uh, friends and neighbors here. And RV Deb and, and um, Patrick from Paddy Wagon stopped over. So... <coughs> just wanted to close the day off here let you know I made it okay and Rufus and I are enjoying and wow is this hard to take a nice cold beer from my refrigerator that works so nicely because we fixed it and uh, it's ice cold in there and how about that TV that we mounted up there don't worry about the wires up there I still got to route those but hey huh not too bad huh life is good in the RV all right, I made the move. I'm free. Take care, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye now.